Well, joining me now, as he does every week, is the Associate Editor at The Australian, Graham Lloyd. Graham, thanks for joining us. Let's start with this Fadden result. A win for the LNP, growing its majority in that seat. Will this be the shot in the arm Peter Dutton needs? Well, good morning. It's uh, certainly a good result for Peter Dutton. Uh, not so good for the government. And for a reference, I think uh, it's valuable to look back at the recent Aston by-election where after that result, the Prime Minister said, look, we're in a new paradigm of uh, government in Australia and everything is moving towards, uh, towards Labor. That's obviously not the case. Uh, the takeout from uh, this election on the, on the Gold Coast is uh, that cost of living pressures are on people's minds and uh, the government's under pressure in uh, a state where it really needs to uh, do well. Now, the worst kept secret was confirmed on Friday. Philip Lowe to be finishing up as RBA governor in September. Jim Chalmers Ooh. appointed his deputy, Michelle Bullock, who's been with the bank since the mid-80s. What do you make of her appointment? Well, I think uh, this is the, the the safe appointment that the markets uh, were probably looking for. Uh, Philip Lowe has been put out of his misery and we, we now have an answer. There was a bit of a kabuki theatre going on about whether somebody would be appointed from the public service. Uh, but in the end, the government has appointed the, the deputy to Philip Lowe, so there's a continuity there. Uh, and uh, I think uh, that's probably the right decision. Graham Lloyd, thanks again for your time this Sunday.